Hello YouTube, this video is going to be about the web interface that I use to control my house. Technically it's not my house, it's my parents' house. Okay, so um, just a first, like a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm going to be showing you this demo over the internet. I, if you didn't know this, I live in Boston and my parents live in South Africa. Um, so we're connected via the internet to my house in South Africa, so there is some lag and it's actually due to the fact of the round trip it takes to get from Boston to South Africa and back. It's not the system itself. Uh, I can basically give you a 100% guarantee that uh, on like in my parents' house, uh, we have tablets around the, the place, as you've probably seen in my tour video, um, that we're on this interface, and those tablets have basically a non-noticeable delay. Like, it's really cool. Okay, so uh, let's just start off with me explaining what this is. So this is the dashboard, as you can see at the top. And uh, these are like the most common used switches in the house, um, in the common areas, which is where the tablets are mounted. Um, and yeah, so we can turn things on and off by just clicking on them. So boom, that front outside light is on. And uh, yeah, let me click it again. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make, hopefully, I'm going to actually put my mouse right by the mic. So hopefully you can hear the click and then you'll see the visual change when it happens. So it's like, it's pretty quick, like it's fast. And that's, you know, I uh, think the latency from here to my house in South Africa, I think the ping response is at like 240, 250 milliseconds. Um, so I think that ends up being a total of 500 milliseconds, if I'm correct, of just internet latency. So yeah, that's probably what's most of the latency that you see. Um, okay, so let me explain everything else. Power, that's telling me that there's AC power is on to the house. Uh, battery 1 and 2 are actually fake, so these numbers don't actually represent anything right now. They're meant to, and uh, they will in the future. Uh, battery 1 is the 12-volt system that I have, and battery 2 is the 24-volt system that I have. So um, where my parents live, there's a lot of power outages um, in the area, and so I have everything so router, internet connection, modem, all the automation, like equipment, all the microprocessors, everything are all running on a 12 volt, on a bench of 12 volt batteries, uh, which is, should be represented there, but that's not true. And then um, the other all, and then I have like my parents' house, they have downlighters, LED downlighters and LEDs throughout the entire house. So most of the lighting, and that's all controlled by, well, all run off, sorry, by uh, a 24 volt like battery bank. Um, and so when there's a power outage, they still have lights and uh, they still have internet and all of that still works. However, just a fun fact, I did find that uh, Telcom, which is like the main um, uh, internet provider in South Africa, their exchanges die after about an hour. So if a power outage is more than an hour, you actually do lose internet and it's not because of the house, it's actually because the, the internet provider, their system goes down and not mine, which is pretty cool. Also, internet is super, super fast when uh, there's a power outage in your area because nobody else can, can use the internet. Um, and then system, this is just telling me that, uh, that, that everything on my main Raspberry Pi is running 100%. So as you can see, it's running 100%. Now let's move into control. Uh, control is a, basically like an overview of the entire house. So here we can see everything. And that, that latency or that lag that you saw, that's again connection, that's a connection latency because um, when you reload a page, which you just did, there's a bunch of packets that get exchanged. Um, it's a whole like a log, basically like a login process happens. Um, so that's why there's a bit more latency on that. But again, you can see over, you can oversee, you can have an overview of the entire house. I've got like system controls, which is, I thought pretty cool. Um, there we go, you can see the latency again. But that's again, internet latency, not latency uh, on the system. As I mentioned before, yeah, it's super fast when you're actually um, at the house. Um, we can turn off the power to the tablets. We can turn off the 24 volt master switch, which is basically a switch that's on the battery and uh, or relay that's on the battery and the reason I did this was because the system I was hoping which I never got to implement because the system doesn't actually know what the batteries are running it like if they're full if they're flat but was that like when a battery got to a certain point it would kill the 24 volt system and then you have to go manually reactivate it so that you're consciously aware that the batteries are running low and like you should probably stop uh, using as much. So that's what this is for. But I also was wanting to do it in like intelligent system that kind of like switches off things 
on like a tier system, like a pyramid system. So first, everything runs for like the first hour. After the first hour, it starts to shut things off, you know, so that basically I could run for multiple days with the system still running uh, off the batteries, which was the idea. And then here you can see load shedding mode has no colors, and that's because the system doesn't actually know the status uh, of the load shedding mode, whether it's enabled or if it's not enabled. Um, and that's just the, because I never got time to finish that. Um, but load shedding mode is actually automatically enabled uh, when it is a power failure, so which is which is pretty cool. So my parents don't have to do anything; they just sit back in the house, uh, basically like tries to um, where there is normal like mains lighting, it will make it will turn off the mains lighting and turn on the LED lighting in that area, and then the same will happen in uh, in reverse when the power comes back on. But it is quite it's quite intelligent. So if they do switch off the light, right, it's not going to then switch back on the mains lights. That will it will continue to stay off. Um, yeah, so that's basically a tour. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I might be releasing the code for this or whatever uh, at some stage, but it's it's basically a package deal because you need the web-based stuff, which is this, which is really simple code, but you more or like more importantly need the actual Python scripts, which do all the processing and all the logic and that behind it. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please thumbs it up. And if you didn't, please thumbs it down and please uh, comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, man. I have tons more videos I want to I want to get out there and uh, get you guys' opinions and, and views on. And maybe I can help you on your own personal projects. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.